The retroperitoneum is divided into three zones. Zone 1 is central in location, zone 2 is lateral, and zone 3 is the pelvic retroperitoneum. Zone 1 is divided into a supra and infra mesocolic region. The supra mesocolic portion of zone 1 contains the suprarenal aorta, celiac axis, and proximal SMA and SMV. Let's start by gaining access to the suprarenal aorta. This can be done two ways. First, with a left medial visceral rotation, or a Maddox maneuver, and second, via direct supraceliac aorta control. The Maddox maneuver, seen here, is a left-sided medial visceral rotation. The left colon is mobilized by taking down the white line of tolt, and splenic attachments are mobilized as well. The descending colon, spleen, tail of the pancreas, and left kidney are all swept medially to expose the suprarenal aorta. If a patient is in extremis, the supraceliac aorta can be accessed by taking down the gastrohepatic ligament and retracting the stomach and esophagus to the left. The aorta can be controlled either by digital compression or with the use of an aortic root compressor or clamp. The inframesocolic portion of zone 1 contains the inferenal aorta, infrahepatic IVC, and distal SMA and SMV. These vascular structures can be accessed with a right-sided medial visceral rotation or cattell brash maneuver in conjunction with a coker maneuver. The inferenal aorta can be directly exposed at the base of the transverse colon mesentery by lifting the transverse colon cephalad. The cattell brash maneuver is a right-sided medial visceral rotation. The right colon is mobilized by taking down the white line of tolt, and the duodenum and head of the pancreas are mobilized with a coker maneuver. This exposes the right kidney and its vasculature, as well as the IVC and inferenal aorta. The inferenal aorta can be accessed through the mesentery of the transverse colon by elevating the colencephalide and dividing the ligament of trites, as seen here.